Awesome. Cool. That was clutch. Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. You have tuned in today to how to water drop. If you do not know, a water drop is when you take no fall damage from a certain height of four blocks or higher. And basically, a well, water drop minimizes or gets rid of damage that you, like your damage output you can take from a water drop. So right now we're at 24 blocks above this height. And at this height, this would normally kill us. So I'll show you now. As you can see, that just killed us. Okay, let's grab our water bucket. <clears throat> Now, let me, t let me show you something. With a water drop, you can take no damage, and this is a very helpful tip, because you can take no fall damage if you're in a ultra hardcore, also known as UHC, or just in a normal PvP battle, this can minimize the damage you take, and so you're ready to play. So I'll show you a basic water drop. Um, yeah. Here, I mean, that was just another practice to show you that, that you can water drop. Like, like you can die from this height. So, um, yeah, let's just do a water drop. Alright, here we go. As you can tell, um, that just happened again. Alright. I'm making this look like a really bad example. <laughs> look at that apple from there. All right, let's. Well, we have to make it look spooky, ready? And bang! There we go, boys. That is a water drop, and a water drop can be done from any height, even from two blocks. You don't even take fall damage. Look at that. It's pretty a little G up in there. That's why. It, yeah. All right. So let's go up here. You can do it from the side. You can, but I just failed. Um, the funny thing is, I'm making myself look a lot worse than I actually am. Alright, so. There you go. There you go. So, uh, here's some tips on how to uh, do it. So, basically, let's go up here. I mean, you probably don't want to uh, learn from me, but I mean, I know how to do it. So, just stay tuned, and I mean, we'll just keep watching here. So. One big tip is keep your crosshairs down, and uh, when you do it, don't make sure, like, if you have the water placed, make sure you don't suck it up, back up too fast. So, um, I guess I can try to show you what that is. If I can actually drop the water first. So, what you want to do, though, is once you get to a certain height that you can take fall damage, uh, look down, you don't really need to, just do what you're doing, and just get the water placed before you take damage, which is what I'm not really doing. So, just make sure you get the water placed before you fall. So, if you're up against the wall, it makes it a lot easier. But, let's say I spin like this way. You have to see, look, you have to make sure that water can get placed when you fall. That is really big and how to get it right. So, there you go. I barely caught the edge of that. So, you have to make sure your crosshairs are down when you do it. So, it makes it a lot easier when you just when it's just a straight fall because it's a lot easier to get your crosshairs down. So, um, let me show you like an example of a pro water drop. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta sprint off. Cool. That was clutch. That was clutch. I didn't mean to do that, but I just did. But as you can see there, I almost did that thing where I said you uh, took the water bucket back too fast. And um, yeah, but that was a pretty clutch right there, but here's what I mean. Like, it's hard to do it because you're on a certain block, but I just did that because I was on this block. See, like, if you're, like, on a corner or something, or you're falling, and your crosshairs can't get onto that really fast because it's, um, off of it, then you won't be able to do it. So it's easier to make sure you know what you're doing. But if you're, like, running away from someone, it's kind of a risk. So, if you do something like this... Um, you can still do it, you know, that's funny, cause, okay, go, like, don't go back right now, but, in the beginning, you could see, before I, talk, talk, like, talk to myself and said how to do it, I was, um, horrible at it, so, but, yeah, so, let me try to show you what I mean, oh, there you go, but big tip, 
keep your like keep your face pointed down the whole time like this not like this because you're gonna miss so that was probably a big majority of why I kept failing in the beginning and yeah so I'm gonna do one more here and just show you another example on how to water drop so, look, there you go my crosshairs weren't on the ground here and I died which kind of sucks but yeah I don't know why I'm doing this yeah okay that's a waste of time <laughs> oh, we should do probably time set oh, I, I'm sorry I didn't know it was night the whole time don't hate me oh yeah that makes it look a lot better nope yeah, sorry I haven't been posting lately. I've been on another channel called The Salty Crafters. You can go ahead and check it out now. We don't have too many videos up there, but we do have videos, so you might want to go check those suckers out. So, let's hit a 360 YYY nose kill. Ready? And there we go, guys. That is how to water drop in Minecraft. Very useful. Um, and yeah, I think I make, make this a new series on my channel. Um, first one first one was a water drop so yeah maybe next one can be like tutorials on how to maybe fishing rod and pvp flint and steel hotkeys i don't know stay tuned if you are new to minecraft not even if you're new to minecraft maybe you just want to know how to do some certain things and do it well strafe you know whatever but today that was the water drop Hope you guys enjoy. Um, go ahead and subscribe to me. As you can tell, I have very uh, small amount of subscribers. That would make my day if you guys subscribe. So maybe um, like the video. And there you go, guys. See you next week or next tutorial video. Uh, bye.